Today's Sunshine Note is titled, He-Man and She-Ra Grow Up. All Israel was listed in the genealogies recorded in the Book of the Kings of Israel. The people of Judah were taken captive to Babylon because of their unfaithfulness. 1 Chronicles 9.1 There was a time, circa kindergarten, when I thought I was She-Ra the warrior princess. My best friend Matthew was He-Man, her twin brother, and together, plastic golden swords in hand, we tried to conquer the evil worlds of the playground and the backyard. We dubbed Matthew's little brother Skeletor, and since we were always able to capture and overcome him, we believed this was proof of the courage and power of He-Man and She-Ra residing within us. Well, we got older and life got harder, and I learned there was in fact a whole lot I couldn't do. I struggled with school, friends, family, and myself. I forgot about He-Man and She-Ra until one night when I was a, a high school freshman. Depressed and discouraged, I came upon my old She-Ra sword. Bent and cracked, the golden plastic looked a little worse for wear. The whole game seemed silly now. For now, I didn't have any courage or power at all. Back then, when I was so young, I thought I was somebody special, but now I didn't even know who I was. When the exiles returned to Israel after their Babylonian captivity, they felt the same way. They used to think they were someone special, God's chosen people, the apple of his eyes, more powerful and courageous than any other nation around them. But time had passed, and life had gotten harder. They were taken to Babylon as slaves and captives, and when they returned, they needed to know a few things. Was God still interested in them? Did the old covenants still matter? Did his promises to David still have meanings? That's why the Chronicles were written, to remind them that they were still God's chosen people. By remembering their past and all that God had done for them and their ancestors, and by reviewing God's promises, they found hope that he still had a plan for their lives. What about you? Have you been feeling as if you don't know who you are anymore? Perhaps you used to know you were someone special, but now life is harder and everything seems unclear. If you're questioning life's meaning today, do what the exiles did. Take some time and revisit God's faithfulness and what he has done for you in the past. You can also review his promises to you in the scriptures. Be reminded that he still has a plan for your life. May God bless you today.